But see, that's the part I don't like about the Golden State. They got, you know, Clay and and, and the other guys, and now you want to put Melo in that mix to say you got to follow these guys. Mm. And that's Mello a little no unfair. Follower. That's a little unfair Mello, to him. Melo ain't no follower. It's just like, man, he don't need to do what they do. Let them do their thing. Hey, what's poppin' people? I'm Kaz, and I'm the host of Say Less with Kaz on Brother and Whistle Sports. Now, I have a great sit-down interview with LeVar Ball that you can check out on Brother Network or on the podcast Say Less with Kaz. But in this special clip, we have the big baller brand patriarch himself, LeVar Ball, breaking down exactly why LaMelo Ball needs to go number one overall in this year's NBA draft. Check it out. LaMelo Ball, man. Yes. Uh, looking like a top five pick. Maybe no. number one overall. The number one pick. Number one you pick. You let, let us, tell me this don't make sense. Okay. Okay. I, I, yeah, I want to yeah. get in this first because I'm, I'm a huge Knicks fan. So we got okay. to talk it out, about though. that. But yeah. this makes sense, though. Whoever is the most popular is usually going to be number one. True. Okay. Usually, whoever is the best guard is going to be high in the draft. True. So, actually... R.J. Barrett looked like he had a better starting and a better plan than Zion. But Zion was more popular than him with the dunks, shoes, tearing strong. Oh, for sure. Okay. Hey, for sure. Hey, hey. He's so must-see he TV. To one. So he moved to number one. Now, look who's number two. Jay Morant. Came out of Murray State. Murray State ain't no big school. But you the best guard in the game? Guess what? I don't care what small school you use. You play a point guard spot, you're moving up. So you're number two. Now, you got Melo, who's the most popular than anybody in the draft. And the best guard. You get a two for one. Mm. Who ain't going to take him for number one? You have to be a fool. Even if even if you don't like him and you don't like what's going on, you get him and trade him. So, even, so say the Golden State Warriors get oh. the number one pick overall. Mm -hmm. they, they draft in La, La, LaMelo Ball, even though they already got Steph Curry playing point guard for them? Oh, yeah. Because, hey, at the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is about money and business. Mm -hmm. Mello will put people in them seats. That's one thing he can do. And, and Stephen Clay, Stephen Clay could could pretty much put people in seats too, though. They ain't no slouches. Okay, okay. okay. You talking about Stephen Clay? Yeah. Who in the draft gonna put people in them seats like that besides Mello? I'll be honest. I mean, I've heard yeah, I've heard of Anthony let's, Edwards. Let's, 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 I've heard of James Wiseman. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. We Mello Lamelo hey, Ball's a household name. Hey, check name, this out. Mello is the only one in the draft that's worldwide. Mm hmm. Fact. That's a fact. I'm, so, I'm not going to dispute you up, on that. The way he set up, people got to do that, man. But see, that's the part I don't like about the Golden State. They got, you know, Clay and and, and the other guys, and now you want to put Melo in that mix to say you got to follow these guys. Mm. And that's Mello a little no unfair. Follower. That's a little unfair Mello, to him. Melo ain't no follower. It's just like, man, he don't need to do what they do. Let them do their thing. There's a reason. You looking at my son. He's talented and can play the game. It ain't that hard. Dude, open pass it to him. You <laughs> open and you, you've been working on your shot, shoot the ball. Run. Right. The fast pace is good. But don't be like, Melo got to wait his turn and wait two or three years to go by and talking about he got to learn from the veterans. <laughs> ain't about that. Can he play or not? Facts. And so, when you're special, and tell me this though, when you're special, how do you really coach somebody special? You just enjoy, and they're special because of the things they do. Magic. You're six, eight, six, nine, you ain't supposed to be dribbling, but you're so special, you don't tell him, don't dribble. You right. let him do what he does. Michael right. Jordan, you let him do what he does. Now let's think about special, okay? You already, uh -huh. you, have a, you, have a, you have a gift for speaking things into existence, right? You yes. spoke Lonzo to the Lakers into existence. You spoke lottery picks into existence. You spoke your kids getting to the NBA into existence. You were, you were quoted as saying the New York Knicks deserve LaMelo Ball. They said like right. that, that franchise deserves something good to happen to them. To happen. Do you still believe that? Do you still believe that's the ideal landing spot oh, for yes. your son? To the end. Mm. And, to and why is end. that? What, what, do you, what do you see? Is it just, uh, is it just see, New I York? Or do you, is there anybody on the team that you want to see him play with? Or, or what, 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 do you, well, what have you seen from them? It's only, you know what, they don't have anything. It's, they've been, I mean, the last time they won a championship back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, the bright lights, the, you need a whole new turnaround over there. The person I want to see him play with, he can play with anybody. I want to see him play. They got to know this. If you're getting mellow, you're getting jello. Mm. 
boy shoot the heck out of that ball and play the chemistry better with him than anybody ever. And after that, you have a chance to get Zoe. Now, you don't need one person to change no franchise. You need a whole culture change, and that takes all three of my boys. All three of my boys on the same team, who ain't going to watch that show? That'd be the biggest show in the NBA ever. We going we gonna to watch, but That's what I'm there's saying. people over there that are worried about winning championships and, and, and winning. Hey, now, hey, hey. My three boys, the last time they was together as mm -hmm. babies, we ran through high school. That's high school. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but they were young then. They was babies, eighth grade. 11th grade. Yeah. There's one senior on the team. We had no problem with nobody. We run through everybody. Now, my three boys is grown men playing yeah. the one, two, and the three. Come on, man. <laughs> with the chemistry they have, the way they throw the ball? Yeah. You think they're going to lose together? No. I mean, listen, listen. No. I, I would love to see it for the for the, for the hey, sheer, for the I'm sheer gonna tell theatrics. You this. They I'm a winners. Knicks fan. You think they're going to go home all together and be like taking that loss and be like, man, 30, 40 losses in a row? Heck no. <laughs> them boys going to win and be together, and you ain't going to top them. And the best thing about it, this is how you win championships. You got to make sacrifices. Now, the sacrifices that my boys would make is they're not going to hold the franchise hostage. Right. What I mean by that is they're not going to say, Jello, I shoot, I score the most, give me 50 mil. Lonzo. I, I'm the facilitator and I'm the all-star point guard. Give me 50 mil. Mellow, well, I'm the show. Give me 50 mil. They more like this. Give us 30, 30, 30. Take the other 60 mil and get us some more rebounders and shot blockers. Now, when, when Jordan was winning them championships, the sacrifice that was made is you got the second best player in the league in Scottie Pippen with that raggedy contract. You yeah. win three more <laughs> three more championships and not paying him none. That's the sacrifice he did. And the, the thing today is, look at look at the Portland Trailblazers. You, you got 300 million tied up in two guards. You ain't gonna never win nothing. You, when you tie up all the money in two players, it ain't gonna happen like that. Mm -hmm. And then most of the time is when, when somebody's being a little successful and the next team could be like, you know what? It's like, uh, what's the boy's name? Uh, Kyrie and KD. Yeah. Kyrie, now, now you could have kept winning in Cleveland. But I want my own team, more money, I'm gone. Boston, here I come. Nets, here I come. KD over there winning. I don't want to stay here. I don't want a championship. I'm good. I want my own and some more. So most of the time, you can't build no dynasty because ain't nobody staying together now. That's old school. Mm -hmm. That's why them guys got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championships and all that stuff, the Lakers and all them, when they were staying together. And when, but right, with now, with the, the social media era, you know, everybody got different different mindsets. So, hey, what, the, what do they want? I want that bag of money. I want my own. Right, right. So you can't keep them together because they're offering too much away. Wow. Wow. What an interview. Shout out to my guest, LeVar Ball, and thank you all for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to Whistle and Brother on every social network. Also, check out my podcast, Say Less, each and every day, wherever you listen to podcasts. And also, tune in every Friday right here for new episodes of the best of Say Less with Kaz. I'm your boy, Kaz. Stay safe, stay free, and always say less.